Let's head over to Central Africa now, Cameroon to be specific. Election fever has gripped the Central African nation ahead of presidential polls slated for Sunday. An estimated 7 million people are expected to cast their ballots in a race that has attracted nine different candidates. CGTN's Sadiq Shaban has more from Douala. These are now common scenes in Cameroon. Supporters of presidential candidates excited about the upcoming elections. Latest political poll put the ruling Cameroon People's Democratic Movement ahead of the rest. The flag bearer Paul Beer is banking on his experience to retain the seat. But these elections are not just about personalities. We know that we are having uh, two regions that are having problems. So we are trying to see, he's making all effort to, say, to try to see who, how he can try to convince the people to stop being uh, arrogant. So to sit on the table and table their problem and talk together because no violence can help anything. This year, the people have, uh, the youth people have taken conscience of the importance of vote. Cameroon is torn between retaining the status quo and embracing new challenge. The main opposition party, the Social Democratic Front, is being led by Joshua Osi, who is trailing the president in the opinion polls. Seven other candidates are far behind. With just days to the ballot, Cameroonians supporting the ruling party still want more than just victory on Sunday. If the, our president, Pobia, uh, passed the, that vote, uh, he gives us a job because the job is very important for our for the Cameroonian. Okay, I want him when he wins again, he will make a, a he will correct the mistake that he done uh, for past time. President Paul Beer is scheduled to make his second campaign rally in the troubled Anglophone areas of Cameroon, hoping to bring the country under one flag. The election fever has gripped Cameroon ahead of the presidential election slated for 7th of October. Eight candidates are running to unseat the incumbent Paul Beer, who's been in power since 1982 and who is running for his seventh straight term in office of seven years. The country's election body, the ELECOM, says it's ready for the elections, which are being held under an increasing context of difficulties facing Cameroon at the moment, including disenfranchisement, insecurity and unemployment. Sadiq Shaban, CGTN, in Douala, Cameroon.